Good afternoon, I'm Allie Hoxie. Here are your headlines from 7 Action News. The giant slide at Bell Isle reopened to the public today after a week long shutdown over safety concerns. Some wild rides were caught on camera last week, showing several riders going airborne, others crash landing at the bottom. A much different experience for riders today with efforts to slow down the slide appearing to be working. We'll have much more for you today on 7 and at WXYZ.com. There is a big blow to progress at the site of a massive water main break in St. Clair County. The 16 foot section of pipe arrived at the site yesterday, but we're being told it doesn't meet specifications. So it's being sent back to the manufacturer. It's expected to be updated and returned Sunday along with the remaining 32 feet of a second order of replacement pipeline. The repair timeline will be updated once all of the pipe is delivered. And starting today, Detroit police will receive double pay for working overtime. The temporary bump in pay comes from an executive order by Detroit Mayor Mike Duggan approving the request. Over the summer, the city has deployed two to three hundred additional officers every weekend to help deter gun violence and keep the streets safe with a focus in downtown Detroit. But as the end of the season nears, it's been harder to keep up with the pace. The city is hoping the extra money will help fill the additional slots. Double pay for overtime will stop towards the end of September. Clouds have kept us cool through the morning, but as the clouds decrease, temperatures spike this afternoon, still making a run at 80 degrees later on today. Falling humidity this evening, it's going to be a cool, comfortable night. Clear skies, low of 59. 81 Saturday, a really nice day. It's going to be comfortable out through the day. 87 degrees Sunday, it gets hotter, a little humid Sunday. It gets hot and muggy Monday, though. Highs in the upper 80s, it's going to feel like the low 90s. We have the chance of rain and some storms Monday and Tuesday. We'll cool back down into the 70s Wednesday and Thursday.